Hello world, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl C of Cycling Crochet. Guys, today we are going to need a 2.5 mm hook, um, a pair of scissors, a yarn. Okay, that is suitable for the 2.5. Right. So first of all, you make your chain, and you measure um from your hip. Okay, so. You measure your hip side you put it around your waist your hip to find out if it's okay and if it's okay make it a little bit loose okay so that your work could be nicer so next of all you make a single crochet in each of the stitch holes that you have okay so single crochet till you get to the end of your chain If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell, um, comment. Right, so let's make it to this side. After making your single crochets, this is what you have for the first row. Second row, you chain one and turn your work. Then you continue making your single crochet in each of the stitch holes. So you are making single crochets for um, four two three times okay so your first row this is the second row second third row to you make a single crochet then the fourth you make a single crochet now you need a book or a card or anything which is um four inches right so it should be smooth enough for you okay not too heavy otherwise you're going to really um find it difficult so you make a loop put it around the book area like this okay make sure that it fits very well but not too tight okay enough to be able to move around the book then you move on to the next stitch hole you yarn over then you make a chain of one then you pull the loop again and put it around the book like this okay next chain hole you pull your yarn through the chain hole then you make a loop put it around the book like this okay so we are using this one because we um, wants our loops to be equal that's why we are using the book okay so you make another one like this so you're going to continue in each of the stitch holes that we have here okay so this um, method normally um, some also use something called the hairpin loop for this but I don't really have that one so I'm using this small book for that okay so you do that so you get to um, the end of the row guys you see why i said you should not make it too tight so that when it comes to removing it comes very easy for you to move okay so after removing all the loops from the book um you take you turn your work 
then with the first loop you make a chain okay through the first loop like this then you make another chain to fix it very well then you take the second loop okay this one is going to take you a while to make it but it's okay then you take a second loop then you make that the chain through the second and the feet the first one then you take the third you make the chain get through the loop okay make sure it's at the middle of the loop okay you make a chain like this you take the next one the next loop you make your chain through the loop to the previous one okay you take the next one okay so you're going to take each of the loop one after the other okay then you make your chain okay so you keep on doing this so you get to um the end of all the loops that you've already made okay you are getting somewhere hmm. okay so you see our thing is already forming so you make this so you get to the end and at the end you take your last loop then you chain one okay so this way you have yes now the next step you are going to chain one and turn your work so after chaining one and you turn your work like this then you start by making single crochets again just like you started from this side you make single crochets so you are making single crochets for four rows as well okay so okay make your single crochet throughout so you get to the end when you get to the end you chain one you turn your work and continue with your single crochet You keep on repeating the rules so you get to the um, heights that you want okay so I made um, this one seven times okay I made the rules for so repeating the single crochet as well as the loops for seven times now at the edges this is what I'm making okay so it depends on how um long you want it okay so at the end of my row what i do is i'm trying to make some fringes at the end of course it's optional okay so with these fringes as well so i make the loops and the fringes you don't really need to uh, measure just that um if you still want to use a book you can use it but you can also just make loops that you want and after every loop um make sure you tie it because you are going to cut the ends of these fringes okay if you don't tie it and you cut the edges you realize that um after wearing the outfit for some time the fringes start coming out okay so after every loop you tie it after every loop you tie it so I'm going to do without a book okay so i'll just make the loop and then i tie it like this okay you make the loop and you tie it so after several rows to the end this is what you have now you take your pair of scissors and cut the edges or you cut the loops open
guys if you're done with this you turn um your work again then you are going to work for the side so on top at the top part um you join your yarn okay so because my yarn is very thin so i made um i joined three of the yarns then i made a chain at the edge okay and the chain depends on you how long you want it so this one i made um 40 chains in all okay 40 chains for this side cut off the excess and you tie the rest very well okay then on the other side too i made the same number of chains <laughs> right so now let's work for the side now i'm um, great you are going to create armholes so i left um two of the so, so i'm going to start from here to i get to the end okay so the armhole too depends on how big you want it so i'm starting from this part which is um the second um single crochets or the third single crochets i have okay so i make the single crochet fixing the um front part to the back part of my work then in the middle i made a loop okay just to make it look like it is part of the work okay so this is what i'm making you make your loop there you move on to the next um one make sure that the loop is enough loose enough to fit well okay you have the same length of four inches just like the rest then you make single crochets to fix it of course this part you can use your thread and needle for it but i always prefer to use my yarn and my hook for this part so that when it comes or when it comes to undoing the work it becomes very easier for me okay so next you make single crochet joining the two pieces then you make a loop go to the next one okay till you get to the end of your work now remember this part is going to serve as the negative part because you don't want to be wearing our dress and be seeing some things hanging around <laughs> okay so this is our work now you turn it to the positive side of your work and you put it on <laughs> guys remember that when you put it on um this side is the armhole and uh, one side is just uh it's a one hand something so this is how you're going to wear it guys isn't this so beautiful thank you for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next video tutorial bye